So yeah, we'll go over the Yeezy slide today. It's pretty straightforward. It's a single piece of EVA foam. So we'll still go over that, but there are two other very important things, at least one other angle I want to explore. One, socks are the most important thing you need to worry about when it comes to styling this. I'm, I'm just being honest. And second, is this actually the Yeezy the most deserving for you to pay resale for? I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still think. What's going on, everybody? It's your girl TJ back with a video talks with TJ, aka TJ2 Swoosh T Yeezy MA2 TJ. Thank you again for tuning in to another video. I swear this one will be kept short. Why? Well, for one, there's not a whole lot that goes into the unboxing of a Yeezy slide. It's just not. You have the box, as you guys can clearly see. And yeah, it's a single piece of EVA foam. It's lightweight. It's durable. It's extremely comfortable. It actually adds a little bit of height to you. So for all of us, you know, height challenge people, I'm not really height challenge for a woman. I'm 5'6". It's not really height challenge for a woman. But people will get, you know, a little bit of boost um, off the ground when wearing these. And then of course you have the ridges on the bottom. So that helps with traction when walking and that's it. And it comes in a number of different colors. Now you guys know that I have resin as well in this release, um, they're soot. So it's really just a very deep, dark chocolate rich brown and it's perfect for fall like if you were screaming for a slide for fall outside of maybe like a burnt orange or I don't know maybe like you know something that's similar you know give you an inflame amber vibe or something like that then sure but I think so, it does the job it does exactly what it's supposed to do and in terms of styling this okay I'm not gonna actually focus a whole lot on that in this video go comfortable that's what first off slides are for a lot of you are wearing these as slippers aka house shoes a lot of you are just using them as that which we'll get to why i think that makes them worth paying resale for possibly or at least the most logical sense for you to pay resale for this easy versus other easy so you're probably wearing it around the house you're comfortable if you're an athlete you are wearing these to and from practice like it is your job like it's a another assignment that coach has given you to do that it's the one that you actually do. Unlike, you know, all the extra running he probably told you to do and you didn't do. I'm just, I'm just taking a little fun shot at athletes because I know y'all just don't want to put in the extra work sometimes. But when you're tired, leaving practice, you got your socks still on, throw on your slides and you go. And these slides are sought after, okay, <laughs> on the market. These, this actually seems to be the L that sucks the most, I think. Um, whenever I'm paying attention, like I'm on my timeline, I'm on Twitter and let me just say this. I'm always on Twitter. Uh, <laughs> always on Twitter, either my regular timeline or in Soul Food. So we're still sending invites out for that as well. But, you know, I'm always in my timeline. And when the L's roll in for the slides, it just seems to hit a little deeper, like, like to the core. And I don't know if it's because you envisioned yourself in, you know, your comfortable sweats, your cozy socks, the slides, just chilling at home, pretending that you're being productive when you're working from home. Now, I've really been like, I've been swamped. It's like playoff season right now. It seems like we're always in a game seven dire situation. Like that's my situation right now for work. Um, but you know, you, you pretend as if you're being productive at home while comfortable. And I get it. I think that's, I think you guys have envisioned this. And then that L comes through. Well, it comes through for some, and then for other people, like confirmed is given out three different W's. I don't know how that works. I don't. I am terribly sorry. Thank you, Shake and <laughs> Clicks Kicks, uh, you know, for ensuring I get my slides. So yeah, I'm sorry. I can't, I can't really sympathize right there with you. Why? I'm under the belief. Now, this is just me, but I just want to have a discussion here, okay? We're just gonna have a discussion. We're gonna open this up. First, when it comes to, uh, <laughs> I am going to possibly take this in terms of, you know, the cost of everything with the value of nothing. All right, Jay, I totally rock with you there. And I get that you were on COB when you said that, but listen here, he has a point, a very good point. We can break it down into like a basic slide and economics there. 
um, knowing the cost of what the slide may be, what it retails, what 55, 60, you have to go pay the secondary market price that could range anywhere from a hundred dollars to $200, depending on what your size is. And I'm terribly sorry for those that have to pay 200, but just stay with me here. So let's say you miss out and you have to pay the resale price. Okay. So yeah, just the cost of $200. Okay. Let's just say that's what you have to pay. Cost is 200. Just keep that in mind. Okay. We got the cost up here. It's $200. The value of comfort every single day. If you wear these 365 days out of the year, which I firmly believe a lot of you will, what's the value of your comfort? I pay for, I pay for convenience these days. I will pay for people to do extra. So I don't have to, I pay for my time. So paying for comfort what are you willing to pay let's say it's 200 dollars, and let's just say uh 365 days of the year so you're paying what little little over 50 cents right let's just say every single day when you got up in the morning you had to deposit something for the comfort of your feet would you be willing to deposit 50 cents or 54 cents let's say 55 cents would you be willing to deposit 55 cents every single day I think a lot of you would, you would think that it doesn't even, you know, you don't even feel it. Let's say if you had to swipe your card every day, you wouldn't really feel it. You know, you wouldn't really, see, well, you could visibly see your account be deducted, but it's not as if you would like, you know, feel that pain they always do on reels now whenever uh, bills and automatic payments, you know, hit. So for a lot of you, I'd say yes. Now let's flip that around and you say, hey, no, there's another Yeezy I want and I'm willing to pay $500 for it. Awesome. How often are you going to wear it though? Are you wearing it every day? See a lot of you, let's be honest, unless it really is like a wave runner that's over here, you're not really wearing that easy every single day, or it could be a 350 V2. And here's the thing. This doesn't apply to all of you. Some of you will wear it every single day. Some of you won't. A lot of you won't wear that one model every day because we have options and we exercise those options. So you may not wear that every single day. So now that you're not wearing it every single day, it's not it's not $500 if you pay that divided by 365. Now it's going to be $500 divided by the number of wears you actually get out of it over the course of a year. And for those of you that pull those shoes out once or twice a year, understand you are probably if it's that first year that you paid for it. Now after that, I, I think it's totally different, but you're paying what? Some of you are paying like a hundred dollars a wear. Is it worth it then? Is the value there then a hundred dollars just to throw that pair on for a few hours and th and take them off? That's just kind of like the, 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 the frame of mind. I would like you guys to just be in with me for a moment. I understand the cost of those slides can be $200 in a secondary market, but I think the value is there. I'm just saying this, the value logically, if somebody came to me and said, yeah, I pay $200 for those slides, you wearing them every day, smart. That's how I feel. So please make sure you sound off below. Now, again, um, I said we would go back to the sock game. The socks are important people. I have to say this before I run up out of here and I thought this would be shorter and it's not, but the socks are extremely important. Okay. Your sock game needs to be on point. And I've tried to help you all put you up on game. H&M socks, <laughs> neutral tones. I think the price went back up to like 12 or $13, but that's still very reasonable for a five pack Buy two packs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Buy two packs. Um, the other socks you guys see, they're actually cream with different tonal stripes on there. Uh, but I'm a big fan of the tonal socks. So you guys are seeing them in a lot of different colors. There is the earth tone color. There's the blue. There's also like a sage green in there and the tried and true Adidas three stripes. Okay. With the tree foil on there as well. So I'm just saying, get your sock game up. If you're going to buy some easy slides, if you take an L, okay. I think the value is there for the comfort that you'll get, especially if you wear these every single day. All right, so again, different take on the video. Um, you all know, be comfortable. Throw on, if you're like me, throw on your essentials, throw on some tonal socks, throw on your slides and keep it pushing. You'll be set for fall, all right? Uh, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, I truly appreciate it. And as always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace out.